Thank you for attending this session today. I'm going to talk about how to compute average, variance, and standard deviation of group of data. And we know that standard deviation is always square root of variance. Before going to group of data, I'm going to quickly review basic descriptive statistics. I have my data here in column B. At the same time, usually I also create a random column. Therefore, you can always copy this, paste it over there and turn it into a new problem and do your computations. The first function I'm going to use is how many pieces of data do I have? And that is count. Count these numbers. Here I can see there are 18 numbers, but in large data sets, I cannot, and therefore I count it. Then summation of these numbers equal to summation of these numbers. And now if I divide summation by count, if I divide this one by this one, I will have the average. Alternatively, I can type here average of this data and it will give me the same thing. So I use function sum and function count to divide them by each other and get the average or I can just simply compute average. Now we want to compute variance. Variance is summation of the gap between each observation and average of all observations. So we have average of all observations here. If we take each observation and find the gap between these two and square it. So that is x minus x bar, which is here. And then square it. This two, I have written it like that. I mean square. And then we should divide it by the number of observations minus one. Let me just make a correction here. And instead of writing two that way, I put a notation like this. And that would be sum of the x minus x bar squared divided by n minus 1. I can even make it better. Put this one here and also this one here. That means x minus x bar is squared and then that summation is computed and then I divide it by n minus 1. Therefore, in this column I write x minus x bar. This is x bar. And because that is constant and I shouldn't go to the next rows for the next computations, I lock it. And then I can copy it down. So this is the gap between each x and the average of x's. x minus x bar. According to the variance formula, I should then square each of these numbers equal to this squared. And I could give the same weight to gap in both negative and positive directions. Now I come here and I type equal to summation of x minus x bar squared and that's it. According to the formula, now I should take this number and divide it by n minus 1. n is my count and 1 is 1. And therefore, that is my variance. A standard deviation is equal to SQRT of variance. Alternatively, I could have typed it equal to ST, standard deviation of sample. And then 
I mark these values and I will get the same thing. Coefficient of variations is equal to standard deviation divided by average. Mean divided by variance is equal to average divided by variance. Median, I'll go here and type median. And I mark these numbers and that is median max, very simple, equal to max of these numbers. Mean, I just copy this down. I double click on it. I push this one up and then I go and type I N. Range is the gap between max and mean. Whenever you cannot click on a cell, you can just go to its adjacency. This one should be range divided by mid, yeah. And that is equal to range divided by median. Now let's go to group of data. Here I have group of data. I don't have access to each component, each element of data. We have a random variable, for example, number of TVs sold in an electronic store. We have had 10 observations 10 days when no TV was sold, 20 days, one TV, 30 days, two TV, 50 days, three, 60 days, four, and 30 days, five TVs were sold in this store. The first thing I should do, these are numbers, I should compute frequency, relative frequency, such that summation of all frequencies is added up to 100%. Equal to summation of all observations is here. So I have had 200 observations. And then I go here and equal to 10 divided by 200. And I lock it because 200 should remain there. And then I copy it down. And these are my f of x. Then I should multiply each probability by that value and then add them up. So I'll go here. I type equal to value of observation multiplied by its probability. Zero. Then I type over that equal to value of ob observation multiplied by its probability. For the rest, I don't need to repeat. I just copy it down and now I have everything. So each value was multiplied by its weight and summation of the weights obviously is 100%. Each value was multiplied by its weight and then I can Add them up equal to sum these numbers, and that is the average, 3.1. Alternatively, I could have done something easier. Sum product, sum product of what? Of each of the values one by one multiply by their probability, their weight, their relative weight. And if I'm not mistaken, I should get 3.1. Is this one equal to this one? Yes. So that is how I get the average. Then the same as previous one, I should find the gap between each x value and its average. So I'll go here and I find the gap 
the value is zero, the average is 3.1, and since I'm going to copy it down, I need to lock it. And this should be squared, because I don't want to have the negative and positive values cross each other's out. Enter for the next one equal to the value of the observation minus its average and lock the average square to enter. For the rest, I don't need to do the same, to type the same thing. I just copy it down and everything is fine. This is x minus mu squared. I should compute the average of this, the average of this x minus average to the power of 2, as I did it here. I divide it by n minus 1. Here I just multiply it by probabilities, and it will give me the same thing. Equal to this one, multiplied by its probability. Equal to this one, multiplied by its probability. And then I can copy it down. Don't forget here just I add these numbers together. I don't divide by n or by n minus 1, by nothing. Here I have the probabilities which are here, and I have the values which are here, I multiply them. Equal to x minus x bar square multiplied by its probability. And then copy it down. And then I add these numbers. And that is variance for this data. Alternatively, I could have said some product. Some product of what? This one and this one and this one. One by one. Multiplied by this one and this one and this one. One by one. I get the same thing. 1.89, 1.89. And then I know that standard deviation is equal to SQRT of variance. Standard deviation, average coefficient of variations is equal to standard deviation divided by average. Range is equal to 5 minus zero, which is five. Thank you very much. Just let me summarize. To compute average, we first counted these numbers and then we divided each one by this one, each one by this one. And we got these frequencies or weights or probabilities such that the summation of all of them is equal to one. It cannot be less than one, it cannot be more than one. What we did next, we multiplied these probabilities by these observations. Some product, and we got this average. Equal to some product of these numbers and these numbers. Enter, and that is the average. We then found the gap between each observation and the average of observations, each observation and the average of observations, and we squared them. Here it is. And then we did the same thing. We got these numbers and multiplied by the relative frequencies, got this number or this one. That is what we got. And then we compute square root of this or square root of this. This one is variance. And this one is STD. The standard deviation is equal to square root of variance. Thank you very much for attending this session. One other word. Coefficient of variation is a standard deviation.
divided by average. We need to know these things. Thank you for attending this session.